Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I'm at work and I thought I'd do a video, something a little different, something that I'm not sure everybody has done. So what I'm going to be doing is tagging two or three people to also do a video like this. But I'm also going to have uh, what I'm calling a voluntary tag. So I'm going to be tagging two or three people uh, requesting them to uh, to do a video like this but also if you choose to do one on your own that's what I classify as a voluntary tag so you volunteer to do your own so uh, what is it what is your everyday car kit you know what do you have in your car um, which you can use in the event of an emergency or you know bug out situation or something like that um, like a grab bag uh, first aid kit, what do you have? So that's basically what I want to see. Um, in the boot of my car, I do have a couple of hard hats because of where I work. I've got uh, three high vis vests. I have one for myself and two spares. I've got 50 feet of rope. Um, what else? I've got the usual um, gear that you carry for changing your spare, spare tire if you have a flat. Uh, got a container with three liters of drinking water. I have a few other things which I can't remember on the top of my head right now. But this is what I'm going to actually be going through today. On Facebook the other week, I put up a, a question, a photo of um, two fleece jackets that I have. This being one of them, and I asked my friends to simply just vote on which one I should put in the car to carry with me for the colder weather, which we coming into now and my geologic um, fleece jacket won out over my London Underground train driver's jacket which is actually a heavier weight uh, fleece so this geologic is um, a decathlon brand from London uh, decathlon has got stores throughout Europe So Decathlon, I bought this at the, um, oh, where was it, uh, Surrey Keys, no, yes, I oh, can't remember now, doesn't matter, but uh, it's a geologic brand and I've had it now for, must be six years and it's still going strong, I've worn it a couple of times, but um, our Australian winters here in Brisbane don't really don't really warrant too much heavy gear because, well, you know, I like cold climates and I'm used to it. So, yeah, this is in the boot of my car with this bag. All right, so you've all seen this before. This is my Vanquist bag. It was sent to me by the guys at Vanquist to um, test and evaluate. And it's a good piece of kit. And it's actually quite full at the moment. But I have this permanently in the um, trunk or the boot of my car. Just some morale patches on the front. So I'll just quickly go through what I got in here. On this side, you have what we call the admin pouch. One, two, three different pens, um, a flashlight. What's this? Oh yeah. Cool adventures. So that's probably the last time I was in this admin pouch was when I was at the um, Peach Street's campground. And got some wet wipes. What else? Something else in here for me. Oh yeah, a small small length of five fifty. That's one one and a half meters. It's probably just a piece of scrap that I decided to not throw out but to keep. And I have a Sharpie and two pens. So that's a little side admin pouch. 
Okay, at the front we have a large pouch here, and it actually has a small one in the front. And uh, I've just got not just the one more R pouch, which is a spare. Um, but then inside the main section, we have oh yeah. basic information on shelters and fire and water. Waterproof pocket guide to three key element for survival. So, and this is a, sort of like a waxed sort of paper so it's waterproof. Carry that with me at all times. Ah, that's where you are. I've been looking for this. Energizer flashlight that I bought at a supermarket and I've not been able to find another one since. And it only cost me $8, but it's a brilliant piece of kit. What else is in there? As you can tell, I've not been in this bag for a long time. Quick lights and my Leatherman uh, Mutt EOD. So my quick lights. So they um, they clip on, and the other one is blue. And if you push and hold. Probably recharge these because they are probably running flat. So the clip itself comes off and you can remount it back on if you choose. So you just clip that onto the brim of your hat or to your shirt or something like that. If you need me. But the idea is they pull off and there is a slight gap underneath this. do is grab your shirt pocket and it slips over like that, that goes down and the flap goes on top. So it's kind of discreet. Just push and you got yourself hands free lighting. Two of those, oh, and then magnetic as well, so you can actually stick them to the bonnet of your car or the roof of your car or any other metal surface. And this is my Leatherman Mutt, big solid piece of kit. It's always good to have a Leatherman with you, especially this one. It's got a little hammer on it. It's got multiple other things, but um, yeah, I won't go into it because I already have a review of this. And if you can't find mine, just um, go and do a search for Leatherman MUT EOD. Okay, front pocket top. Spare batteries for my flashlight, which I have just over there. 
two different sorts of uh, painkillers and plastic bottles so they don't get crushed. Paracetamol and ibuprofen. And a cigarette lighter. And there's still plenty of room for more gear to go in here. There is sort of a hidden pocket behind here. So you could actually put some gear in there as well if you wanted to. And it's kind of hidden by the um, morale patches. And here's the uh, elastic for, you know, tying anything down that you wish. Now this is designed to be opened when it's on its side. the gear, a waterproof and uh, windproof jacket, outer shell, at the front here I've got the small camera tripod, so I can use this with the camera that you're viewing this from at the moment, but this is mostly a backup now because I'm using my new Manfrotto tripod which is what the camera is mounted on at the moment. Um, Sunscreen or sunblock. Now this belongs to my friend Richard. Um, the last time I seriously used this pack was when I was looking after his children, so I grabbed his first aid kits and just put them straight in here. And uh, this is actually not a first aid kit, it's more a survival kit. A head net for mosquitoes and a water siphoning tube. Um, snare wire, hoochie cord, reflective emergency blanket. This looks like yep, lint from the lint catcher of your drying machine at home for your laundry. So that's good tinder for starting a fire. A magnesium block with a striker. Well used by the looks of it. On the other side, a military issue notepad, which is uh, all weather writing paper. So you can even use it in the rain. There's a pen. And a small pocket knife. thinking it was a first aid kit and it's actually more of a survival kit. So I'll put that back in there. Oops. This must be the first aid kit then. So much gear packed into this that the stitching is actually coming undone. Which is not the best considering it's my expedition. Hmm. Yep, first aid. So we have a Ziploc bag. 
with multiple wound dressings. Um, smaller bag, sterilized uh, single use iPad. Um, Band aids, alcohol wipes, more band aids, stereo strips, and um, splinter removal pens. And these are large sticky back um, type of gauze pads. sanitizing spray with aloe vera. Mosquito insect, insect repellent spray pen. Again with a spray nozzle on it. S bite and sting relief spray pen. Okay, sodium chloride irrigation fluid, a pair of scissors with a couple of um, these things. I forgot my call now. Safety pins. A very fine pair of tweezers. Here we've got um, antiseptic, cuts, abrasions, bites, insects, and minor skin irritations. First aid spray. Relieves and protects against infection. So, this is cold pack. Instant, provides temporary relief for minor swelling, sprains, and strains. So there is a little capsule in there that you break and then you shake this up and it gets cold and you can apply it. And in here we have flex, flex freeze, which I believe is the same as this. Oh no, these are heat packs, the opposite. Flexies, there's four of these. So heat and cold. So that is the small basic first aid kit, which sits in here, but now come to this. Now this I have not been through for quite a while. It's a pen. I Heart London. I do actually. This would be a waterproof match container. It's got a striker on the bottom, which looks like a like a fire starter, a ferrocene rod of some sort. Yep, full of matches and a little signal mirror. And obviously, they've not been not opened this for quite a while. This elastic band is actually degraded. They're holding the, um, the striker boards together by the looks of it. Uh, yep, yeah. you can just make them out. Mm. There you go. 
okay, a section of DVD which has been used as a signal mirror. Shut up. Something that looks like a tea candle, but it's actually a small light. Okay, let's test this. Yeah, I can't see that being much use. What I may actually do is replace this with a genuine tea candle. Emergency drinking water germicidal tablets. Add two tablets to one litre of water and cap loosely to allow a small amount of leakage. Wait five minutes. Shake container to allow screwed threads on the closure to be moistened. Then tighten cap and wait a 30 Wait a further 30 minutes before drinking. Still sealed, so I'm going to leave that seal on. There's no expiry date. Okay. And this is some sort of lip balm. With something in it. it. Smells like smells like chocolate and uh, vanilla. So I'm not sure if it's lip balm or if it's supposed to be a fire um, starting product. But I guess you can use it for both. Uh, band aids and a long strip of band aid that you can actually cut to whatever length you want. Um, char cloth, paracetamol, no, Panadol tablets containing 500 milligrams of paracetamol. Um, yeah, some string, which I'm not too keen on. I think I'll replace that with something else. Two chunks of fat wood. in it a razor blade an emergency tornado whistle a keyring LED light what I guess is to be used as a grill plate Some sort of hand towel material. And two cup of soups. Chicken and corn. And surprise. Instead, it doesn't rattle and uh, makes me in more of need of protection than the blade is. So, I guess this little kit um, combined with the other little kit, and I 
guess command a um, make a relatively okay first aid kit, but I still want to actually have a proper first aid kit because this all just seems too little. It's just a combination, uh, it's a mishmash of different things. So there you have it guys. This is my everyday car kit. EDCK. So let's see your car kit. If you have one, if you do not, this is the perfect opportunity to make one and then show us. Um, I also have this on the strap. This is also Richard's. And in it, it just has towelettes, hand sanitizer, notepad, and some gum. But there's no pen, so. Okay, so there you have it guys. This is my EDCK everyday car kit. Um, I do have more in the car, but it's in a, in a crate, like I said, uh, a couple of hard hats, some safety vests, uh, rope, a couple other things like that, squeegee for cleaning the windshield. So now I'm going to tag somebody to do this because I'd like to see what they have. Now, this is not your EDC, this is your EDCK, not everyday carry, it's your everyday car kit. Um, so, this is not what you carry on your person, this is what you have in your vehicle. And I'm going to tag some people who I know have children. Um, I want to see what they've got in their car for emergency situations in case one of the children injures themselves or you know they have a little fall and they got cut or something like that um, so my first thought is to tag Sepp uh, Waldhandwerk because um, I know you've got a couple of young children so let's see what your EDCK contains everyday car kit um, who else it's got kids. I know they're not as young as Seps, but um, Scott, you've got kids, so I'll like to see what's in your little car. Yeah, so Scotty from uh, Wessex Blades, you've been tagged. Um, another thing, I've actually got a tag coming uh, as well with regards to my emergency survival kit, so I still have to film that. And uh, that's actually tagged from Scotty. So. Who else? All right, the radio's finally gone quiet, so I can finish. So I've tagged Seth and Scotty. Who else? Who else has children? I think Funky, you've got. A little girl, haven't you? So, little girl or a little boy, I can't remember. So, Funky, you've been tagged. Um, what's your EDCK, your everyday car kit? So, those are three people I've tagged. You don't have to do it, you know, it's totally up to you if you want to. Um, but anyone else who wants to volunteer a tag, uh, go for it. Uh, if you have an EDCK, and you want to show it off. Uh, maybe you have some gear in there which um, I don't, and you know maybe handy to know. So do yourself a video showing your EDCK, and um, send me a link or send me a message. I'll leave a comment and let me know, and um, I'll check it out. So for now, guys, I'll leave this with you, and um, see you again soon.
All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bet you're going to be quiet all day now. Alright guys, long time no see. Um but I'm another one. Okay, on the front pocket there is actually a hidden Shut up. The thing is, I can't turn the radio off because I need to listen just in case they're calling me. I just want some peace and quiet. Pain in the ass, it's been quiet all day and then this happened.